Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Spider and welcome back to another review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers 2007 Movie Deluxe Barricade. So let's get to it. Now, this is typically why I would take the time to look at the packaging, but I don't have it anymore. So instead, it's a free bottle. Alright. Now, onto the figure. Uh, now I do want to say that, uh... Since he is kind of old, he has some of the uh, details have kind of scraped off like that. That's still okay, but it's still pretty banged up. Like uh, uh, like that. That used to say police, which uh, you, know, you have to take my word for it because it ain't there anymore. But uh, yeah, it happens. It's unfortunate, but it happens. Anyways. So. Here we have Barricade in his police car goodness, which uh, I do, I do believe he was supposed to be um, a Mustang, wasn't he? I, I, don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. <clears throat> I think he is. Anyways, here's the front. There's the headlights. The orange there and on the other side. You have six, four, three. Eight, uh, focused. What are you doing? There you go, thank you. The side of the car, the wheel. You have a police badge with a Decepticon symbol instead, which is very nice. It says police, uh, 1865. Yeah, it used to say police. The nice silver letters, but now it's gone. A little door handle there. Focus. A, a, a side view mirror. Couldn't think of the word. He had more prints on the side here, which, um, well, uh, you know, like the police motto, uh, the protect and, and serve. Well, this used to say, uh, to punish and enslave, which, uh, uh as a Decepticon, that's, that's, that's kind of funny, you know? That was a nice little detail that they didn't have to put there. They, they didn't even have to put it on the toy, but they did. Well, they used to before it got scraped off. But yeah, that was a neat little detail they didn't have to put on this character. But they did, which was nice. It's the little things in life, isn't it? Uh, another wheel. At the back. Got the tail lights. You got Celine. Which, I don't know, maybe that was the... I, I don't know. I'm not even going to try and guess what that was because I have no idea. Yeah, it says Celine. And the other side, same thing. You got the, the back mirror is just black. There's nothing. That's black too. These, however, are translucent. You can actually see into it. It's so quite scraped up, but you can actually see all the transformer bits. In the car, and you can see through them. Hello. Yeah, which, um, I know some people don't like the clear windows because you know, especially if there's nothing in there. As you can see, there there is nothing. I don't think there's any like detailed interior. It's just the, in just the. Hidden bits. So, um... Yeah. Which, it doesn't really bother me, but... Yeah, I can kind of see how, how it would. Because there's really nothing there to look at, so... It's like, why would you make it clear? <laughs> you know? It's like... Maybe should have gone, gone with like more of a tinted look, or... Maybe even make them blue? I don't know. That would have... Looked weird, but... Uh, that's usually what they do. We could have made them uh, black like the wist, like the rest of the windows, but I don't think that would have looked too good on this guy. But anyways, like I said, doesn't bother me. Clear windows, whatever, looks fine. Uh, right at the top of the car. Can't really see. I guess I'll do it sideways. Yeah, these details. 
you know, the sirens. I'm forgetting all kinds of words today. Uh, you get 643 again. And you got police. So I think that's supposed to line up with the L. Doesn't always work out quite right, but yeah. So yeah, overall, a really decent car mode, I have to say. I really like the look of them. Looks really, really good. You have the bottom, which... Even the bottom looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, those are his legs and his arms and stuff, but... For the most part, it looks pretty good, I have to say. Yeah. And he can roll. Woo! Oh, it rolls very, very well. Backwards as well. Very nice and rolly. So yes, overall, very, you can't see that. Very good vehicle mode. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, on to size comparisons. Here he is with a Lego minifigure. Here it is with the Pack of Destruction minifigure Mothra. Here it is with the Pack of Destruction minifigure Godzilla. Here it is with the Speed Series and on John Knighter's Barricade and Bowie. And here he is with some of his fellow Decepticons, the Fast Action Battler Night Attack Megatron. And the Fast Action Battler uh, Claw Slash Ramjet. That's what he was called for a minute there. And then, finally, here he is with all of the, the other of the other movie one 2007 2006 whatever transformer figures I have reviewed so far oh jeez uh, never mind my squeaky chair yeah yeah finally measuring time Uh, the vehicle is about five and a half inches long. Yes. Quite nice. Now, on to the transformation. Uh, now, before we move on to his transformation, I figured we would look at Frenzy. Which, yeah, I didn't even mention that. He uh, does come with a little Frenzy. He's right in there. And to get him out, you just... Pull that down and pull them out. And this is Frenzy, which, uh, yeah, remember how he was supposed to be a radio in the movie? Hmm. I remember seeing any radios look like this, even back in 2007. Anyways, so to transform him, you just take the legs, pull them down, take his head. Pull it up, move the arm up a little bit. You wouldn't move the other one, but it broke off. And that's it. That That's Frenzy. Yeah. Little guy. So, uh, as you can see, yeah, he's got um, red eyes, which he actually had blue eyes in the movie. And I do distinctly remember... One of the Frenzies actually did have blue eyes. Like, I remember owning one that had eyes that were actually blue. I don't remember what that came with. Because huh. I, I, I had another barricade uh, besides this one. Um, I had gotten a barricade, and then someone uh, gave me this one. Uh, and I lost the other one, and this is the one I ended up keeping. I don't know what happened to the other one. It's gone. Um, but yeah, I remember it had it had blue eyes. So, I'm not sure why that one did and this one didn't. I don't know. I mean, I do know that Barricade and Bumblebee were, I think we were re-released in a two-pack. Because 
you know, you can get Barricade and Bumblebee individually. I think you can get them as a two-pack. And I do remember getting Bumblebee and Barricade at the same time. So I think maybe the two-pack is the one that had Blue-Eyed Frenzy? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just guessing. But uh, anyways, on to Frenzy. Uh, got a pretty nice head. Yeah, see, it's a little dirty. Oof, should have cleaned that up before I did this. Oh well. See that red eyes. That's the back of his head. Got his chest. His arm, which is just weird. His legs, which are basically non-existent. Yeah, and articulation-wise, just just every trans. It, Transformation joint is articulation, so head moves up and down, arm move up, legs do that. So yeah, it's pretty much it for frenzy, which I usually don't leave them out. I kind of just leave them in barricade because. I just think he looks a little empty without Frenzy in there. He just, I don't know, it doesn't look the same. So I usually just leave it in there, which I think it just looks, it just looks better. Um, oh yeah, that's another thing. I completely glossed over it. Um, I don't know why they gave Barricade Frenzy. Because, <laughs> um... Frenzy was Soundwave's thing. Like, Soundwave was the one who had the cassette tape, you know, Decepticon thing. So I don't know why they had friends, uh, Frenzy and Barricade. I don't... I don't know why they chose to do that. That was kind of weird. But, no. Mm. Anyways. Um, okay, now into Transformation. Enough... Dilly dallying. Now to transform this guy. Actually, let's raise the camera up a little bit so you can see a bit better what I'm doing. So, first off, you want to separate these bits here. Which, that tab will just plug into that hole, and that will plug into there. Oops. We'll just do that to the other side as well. You don't do transform yet. This bit is a bit loose, but it's whatever. Oh, that reminds me. I know I said I would stop daily dialing, but just, just just one more thing. One more thing. Uh, if you do this transformation bit and then re-transform him a little bit, you can kind of get opening door, window, put up type thing. Kinda, but not really. Eh, whatever. Anyways, alright. Back onto the transformation. Uh, so now you want to take the arms here, pull it down, and then pull it out. Do the same on the other side. Pull it down, and pull it out. Now you want to... I'm sorry, kind of doing it. Uh, you want to grab the legs and pull them all the way down. Grab them at the waist and just kind of pull it out, push it up, and these two will kind of rest in those ports like so. Mm -hmm. Now continue at the legs, you want to split them in the middle, push the thighs up, you want to Pull the foot down, and then pull the whole leg down. It's on two ratchets. And then you want to flip up that little foot thing. Same thing on the side. Just kind of pull the arm down, flip the foot down, and then flip that up. Make sure these are all good. I think I'm going to raise it up. A bit more even. All right, rotate the arms. So they sit like that. Hold up the elbows. 
you want to just fold up that thumb and just push up that part and these things i always forget what to do with these i think you just flip them around like that maybe fold them down i forget exactly what you do with these i think you flip them around like that but i don't really do that i kind of see it as unnecessary so i just i just leave them as they are but that's just me personally they're on ball joints so you can kind of just do whatever you want with them so flip up the fingers on the other hand oh geez nope hang on and you're done you have car man <laughs> no okay <clears throat> so trying to find a good place to ho hold them so it's not flip flopping about so now you want to just take your finger now and just split this part down the middle and just pull them apart you want to come around here and just oops just fold that down and then fold these fold these up like that then you want to come back here and just get the head up and then you want to just close these around the head and that kind of keeps it secure because otherwise it's kind of loose so you just oops you just close those in like that and you are done oh, come on hang on oh. get the legs in the right position okay now you're done now you have barricade and his whoop whoop and his robot mode keeps falling over yeah. now onto his you understand yeah he's standard now his articulation at the head is uh, nothing. I mean, I guess he can look up, but is, yeah, yeah, he can't really move at the head at all, which is kind of disappointing. I mean, he could have done something like like there's like a platform right there. They could have put a ball joint right there so his head can do something besides just fall back, you know. The Shoulders on ball joints so they can rotate all the way around. Just gonna back a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. So you got an elbow joint, which on the side it's a little janky, so he has an elbow joint. It's pretty much as far as he can go. His fingers move as such. As I mentioned before, these are on ball joints, so you can kind of just do whatever you want with them. The waist, uh, nothing really, man. I guess she's got a arcing back a little bit, but yeah, no. Uh, no. His hips are also on ball joints, so we can kick that, that far forward. We can kick... That's far back, but if you move it out of the way, you can kick pretty far back, actually. Pretty good. You can do the splits. Very impressive. Just want to keep coming down. And, as I mentioned before, you got a ratchet there, a ratchet here. So, you can do... Stuff like that, so you can kind of you can get it to work f for you. He can't, no, can't get it to work for me. I uh, can bend that far back, and also it's also on a swivel. And then his ankles are on. 
bow joints, which are kind of awkward because this bit gets into that bit, so it kind of restricts it a lot. But you can get, you can, yeah, now you can't really get some ankle tilt in it. You can push it up though. Rotate. Surprisingly, that does get in the way of rotation. I mean, I guess that. You didn't see that. This. If you want to count that as articulation. Which, if that bothers you, you can just fold it down. And it just... If you mess around with it, they're probably just going to get folded down anyways. That the... They don't really click up or anything. It just... Fold up. Oh, so getting him to stand is a bit of a hassle to get the legs to work completely right. Also, there's a strange bit. The um, left shoulder has a lot more clearance than the right one does. Now you can see it a lot better from the front, but like, see how far that one can go outward? And see how far that one can't. Like it can just kind of point forward. This one can go a lot more out. So like an extra, extra bit of plastic there that kind of stops it from moving. I don't know why they did that. That's kind of annoying. But whatever, I guess. I don't know. And then of course he has a a gimmick, which is kind of weird, it, but he's got a spring-loaded punch attack. So you got this little, uh, you can see it's this little lever, not lever, but this little thing right here. You kind of just hook your thumbnail on it, pull it back, and ga! And now his arm is even more flip-floppity. So yeah, I don't know. It was something they tried. But because that's there, uh, it kind of restrains his thumb, so it can't go as far up as this thumb can. Granted, it's not that big a difference, but... Now... On to details, I'm going to fold his arms down so he doesn't bump the camera. On to details. You have his face, which is nice and facey. Don't know what that means, but he's got some, hey, look at this. He's got some nice gold, some nice red eyes. And the, uh, the piping, the light piping works pretty good on him. Quite good, quite good. You have the front of the chest, which is just the car, but widened a little bit. You have the inside, the arm. You got some purple bits there. The fan. You got the fingers, which are in there, so it's not just like the car bits. It actually, he actually does have molded fingers on the inside, which is nice. We got on both sides. Really nice. So you get the purple on the waist. Some nice purple and silver on the thighs. Some more purple than that. That's pretty much it. Not the same as before. So yeah, now, on to size comparisons. Here he is with a Lego minifigure. Here he is with a packet destruction mother. Eight. Packet destruction minifigure Godzilla. The Energon Igniter Speed Series Barricade and Bumblebee. If I can get them to stand up. 
Wait, stand up. It's gonna over and over. You stand up properly. There we go. And once again, with the fast action battler Ramjet and fast action battler Megatron. There we go. And finally, once again, let's hope we can get them all in shot. Uh, there he is with all the other. Okay. Whoop, on the camera, my bad. And frame of the other movie one. Uh, figures I've reviewed so far. Okay, this is gonna be fumbly mess, so I'll, I'll come back. Alright, got them all standing. So here's Barricade with Bumblebee, RC, and Swindle. Yes, that's Swindle. From the movie one toy line. Yep. Yep. Now, to measuring him. He is. falling over. Uh, he's about five and a half inches tall. So, yeah. He's, uh... I can get him in a decent pose of sorts. Maybe, sort of, kind of... Nah, I guess he's just standing there. Okay, finally got him in a decent pose. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the review of the Transformers 2007 Movie Deluxe Barricade. And, yeah, he's pretty cool. Vehicle mode looks really good. Robot mode is... He's a little dated in some spots, but overall, I think he's pretty fun. I mean, I certainly had fun with him when I was a kid, so... Yeah. I think he's pretty cool. Frenzy is... Uh, Nah, these best left just inside a barricade, but, um... See, so yeah, the barricade side of things is very good. Frenzy is... You can't see my hand at all, but whatever. Hopefully you know what I was doing. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, he, he's pretty good. That's pretty much it. That's... I think I've said, like, eh, he's pretty good. Like, in every single one of my reviews, I'm... I'm very insightful, you know. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about this figure. So, hope you enjoyed. See you later. Sayonara. Bye.